everybody and welcome to Tabia's Knitting. I'm Tabia and uh, today I wanted to introduce a new series to you which is called How Did It Wear? In How Did It Wear? I want to give you some kind of more of a long-term review of some mostly cardigans and sweaters that I knitted. The reason why I wanted to start the series is that I think that often when we put up our project notes on Ravelry um, at least for me I'm very much still in this bubble. I'm just finished with the project, I'm so happy that I can finally wear it and I would only see all of the positive things. Now I'm not saying that I want to be this series all negative but I think that with a little bit of distance you can give more of a realistic review of how you ended up liking the garment and how it did hold up. I thought that I would divide these videos in three sections um, and the first one is kind of some general information about the project. The second part of the videos is more of a long-term review of the yarn. The third thing that I'm planning on mentioning in these videos is more about the garment in general. All right, so the first episode of this series is about my division cardigan, which was the first ever cardigan that I knit. I had a look at my Ravelry pages and there I saw that I cast it on in 2014 and also finished it then. Uh, I knitted from August 4th, 2014 until, sep until November 22nd. And I remember when I knitted it that uh, I wanted to have a really basic cardigan, a long one, um, and then I found the pattern. The pattern was written by Amy Christophers and um, what really makes it special is that it has these kind of stripes. So it has sections in the stockinette stitch where you hold the yarn double, uh, which makes for really subtle stripes, which actually is really beautiful, but I didn't do it. Um, I omitted the stripes and I just went for the very plain, a very plain stockinette long um, cardigan. The cardigan is knitted from the bottom up in one piece, so you knit back and forth, then it is divided for the arms, and then you knit the back and the both front sides, then you join uh, at the shoulders, and then the sleeves are knitted from the wrist up and then they are sewn together at the at the shoulder. The size I made was the 44 inches which is about 111 centimeters and the gauge is 20 stitches by 28 rows or 10 centimeters. The yarn I used for the sweater is BC Gone Similafino which is a finger and weight 100% wool yarn. Uh, and it has 480 meters per 100 grams. BC Garn is a Danish brand and uh, this particular honor, I think all of the wool yarns are actually um, organic, which I didn't know at the time I was knitting the cardigan. Um, I just realized it now when I did the research for this video. So that's everything on the project itself. So now I thought I wanted to give you a little bit of a, a review uh, about the cardigan and about the yarn and what are my thoughts now after I had it for three years. So now when I looked up the company I really, as it's a family business and an old one and it's a organic certified uh, yarn, I really didn't, it almost felt like I wanted to put off the video that I had planned because I, I don't want to, I don't want to bash it and I just wanted to say that or everything that I'm saying is my personal experience so it doesn't mean that it's not a good yarn or that it's not maybe maybe it works for you but it actually didn't really work that much for me so the major problem that I have with it and I will insert some clips the major problem that I'm having with it that it peels terribly much it was also my first cardigan so maybe I didn't really expect it to be that way or maybe now I maybe would choose a different 
a different yarn but it pills a lot um, and to that extent that I don't really enjoy wearing it so much unfortunately the major problem that I'm having with it that it pills terribly much it was also my first cardigan so maybe I didn't really expect it to be that way or maybe now I maybe would choose a different a different yarn but it pills a lot um, and to that extent that I don't really enjoy wearing it so much unfortunately when I realized or when I saw that the cardigan was pilling quite a lot I tried to shave it uh, or I did shave it uh, but then the pilling uh, it just continued to pill so that's one of the reasons why I don't really wear it that much um, and I think I would probably wear it a lot more uh, if it weren't for for the pilling so if you have any tips on what I can do maybe I should shave again and maybe give it another block and soak it again and then try again maybe that would make things a little bit better but if you have any tips please let me know in the comments below so uh, probably I hope that I will get some more wear out of it another thing about the cardigan that has to be fixed now after three years is uh, one of the buttons that broke when I finished the cardigan I used these gray plastic buttons that have kind of this wooden looking marble uh, pattern to it and I don't think I ever liked really liked them from the first place so now as uh, one of the buttons broke I will have to replace them or at least I have to replace this one and then I think I will replace all of the buttons um, and then also if I try to shave it again and um, soak it and block it so maybe then I can relive uh, the, the cardigan a little bit the third part in this video is about the garment and the, the pattern itself and what I think about it uh, now after I had it for a while. So as I said, I didn't actually get the most wear out of it, but that was basically due to the, to the yarn I chose and the pilling, which made it more like a posy cardigan to wear at home, but not really something that I would feel very pretty in which of course I would I would want to in a in a sweater uh, but that's not, of course not a, uh, not at all the the patterns fold um, as I said the pattern itself has these stripes into it which I didn't do now uh, in retrospective that was a really bad idea I don't really I think when I or I remember that when I checked Revelry and the project on Revelry that I saw a lot of people who didn't do the stripe thing um, and I think maybe I just didn't dare to do it or I don't I don't really remember because now it really feels like that's the thing that makes the cardi really special and I didn't do it so that was would be something that I would change if I were to knit the pattern again uh, other than that I really like it I, I really like that it's this very classic long cardigan that would work in every wardrobe that I can wear it with a with jeans with a skirt I you can you can wear it with almost everything and uh, so that's what I really like I like I still like the idea of the sweater as such but it's just this particular garment that didn't turn out too well so I thought that uh, at the end of all of these videos I would rate them I wanted to rate the yarn and I would give them a number uh, out of maximum five skeins of course um, and I think the yarn unfortunately only deserves two skeins because as I said it pulls a lot and it that just didn't work out for me but maybe if you, if you would use yarn for something else and not a sweater or a cardigan maybe for um, a shawl for example I could really see it working but for uh, a thing that is used and that that tears to other to other things maybe it's not the best choice and then for the overall project I thought I would go for the same emojis that Reverie has on their site and so this one would be and there are five emojis and uh, I will Put them into the video so you can see them uh, and this would be like the middle one it's I'm, I'm not particularly happy with the project but I still think it's not the worst uh, and when I'm at home I'm actually wearing it quite a lot because as the 
yarn is uh, quite thin and airy. It's a very warm and cozy yet lightweight cardigan, which I really like. So this was everything I wanted to talk about today about the uh, BC Gone Similar Fino. In case you have any other or um, similar experience with the yarn, please let me know in the comments below. Uh, I it would be really nice to hear uh, what you what your thoughts are on the on the yarn. And the reason I started out with this particular cardigan was of course because it was my it was the very first cardigan I make, so it would it made sense for me to review it as uh, the first one in this series as well. Uh, also, I thought that in an upcoming video I could show you how I go about uh, shaving it again, if anything changes and also how I or which kind of new buttons I will choose for it. So let me know if you think that would be something you would be interested in. Um, and as always, thank you so much for watching. If you want to follow me on Instagram or Ravelry, I can be found as Tabusen. And um, thank you for subscribing in case you want to. And I will see you next Wednesday. Thank you. Bye bye.